low price hotel uh, all right because uh, all day long you will be spending your time in the conference so only to sleep you need to come to hotel so you don't need three star hotel so a four star hotel so we talk about that and then we said that if you cannot come out from your home what you can do you can sitting at home in your own desk you can write papers academic papers academic articles you can do a lot of uh, researches for classroom research or action research uh, you know taking one classroom problems you can do action research or uh, classroom research and based based on the research uh, all right you can uh, you know the, you can write a report and based on the report you can write a paper or article and you can get it published in issn number journal so i told you we have we have uh, a journal called the english classroom english classroom it is an issn number journal issn number journal means very established journal recognized journal so you can published in uh, your uh, published your paper uh, research based paper in uh, issn number journals and that is an edit qualification so these qualifications help you in getting promotion uh, transfer in transfer or promotion council if you say i have got a, a paper published in an iss number that's adds a value to it all right so that's a very good uh, qualification for practicing professionals like you and me <clears throat> next i said that uh, creative writing uh, you can always uh, take to writing like writing poems writing story novels and drama all right so many uh, uh, last batch we conducted we found one very good person you know he he writes poems okay he has got anthology he got published so that that is another now what he did he uh, uh, published it in telugu so you can uh, if you write in your own mother tongue do it no problem all right creativity is different that is called right brain and left brain right brain is creative brain left brain is academic brain so what happens we need to utilize both the brain right brain gives you ideas left brain uh, left uh, brain gives you uh, language that way if you utilize you know both your uh, brains le left brain and right brain so then you can have a lot of uh, you know ideas on that okay so <clears throat> this is what is called left brain and right brain uh, right brain is called creative right brain expression is creative it the right brain always is big picture uh, big picture and it's uh, random it takes intuition becomes uh, you know very stronger uh, before looking at something you can imagine something in a better way left brain on the other hand is uh, looks at uh, parts okay uh, right brain see the whole uh, left brain see the parts okay so that is called academic brain okay it is always going step by step sequential left brain all right right brain is you know comprehensive holistic okay see the whole picture so normally when you have great writers great artists okay say uh, all nanopid award is nanopid award is in your state all right first uh, nanopid uh, nanopid award went to kerala all right and then next came to karnataka and karnataka got many awards eight people got uh, nanopid award from karnataka undivided andhra pradesh two people got all right tamil nadu two people got like this you know so those people have they use both right brain and left brain ideas lot of ideas if you read uh, uh, all those nanopit awards okay then you will see <coughs> their quality of their expression how they express what is the topic how they select the topic and how they express so in kuvempu if you read can all my kannadiga friends here will agree that kuvempu if you read ramayana sri ramayana darshanam is a great book if it all right based on the original ramana uh, ramayana he wrote it when you see the language high level elevated level of language although it is in kannada language kannada language is very high level if you see darabendra darabendra's poem many you know all other nanopit awards award is uh, you know writing we are translated to english but darabendra was very difficult poet his poem um, only those uh, poems he himself translated in english that is okay but other people find it very difficult they can translate it but the idea original idea get lost 
Well, that is Shivarankaran. You see, read Shivarankaran. Okay, then he has written many, many novels. Okay, story novels books. I have read two: one, Marali Mannige and Sumana Dori. All right. So, uh, so and then you see uh, Shivarankaran Masti Venkatesha Iyengar. Here is Chikkebira Rajendra. All right. Uh, it's a great novel. Okay. So he's another Nanapita artist. B.K. Gokok about everything about social. Uh, you know, ethical, so, social, social aspects. P.K. Gokok. <clears throat> and he was one of the highest qualified person. He, he was the first uh, director of uh, uh, Central Institute of English, South India Bank, uh, sorry, Central Institute of English and Foreign Language Hyderabad. Now, presently, he flew. He was the first. So, uh, you know, P.K. Gokok. And you see, Girish Kandar, okay? You are Anantamurti, all right? Chandrasekhar Kambar. You see, if you see their writing, you will see why they deserve that particular award. So we should all read. And those all people, okay, all people, you know, they use maximum of the right then brain getting idea. All artists say N.T. Ramarao, okay, M.Z. M.Z. are in Tamil Nadu, all right. Mamuti say Kerala, all right. And here Raskumar. Karnataka, you know, all these great people, you know, they always use right brain. Now, as teacher, you should utilize like that. You are not only a scientist, teaching is not only a science, it is also an art. So to become, to teach art, you need to become an artist. So that's why right brain expression is a must, okay? So that's what you can always think of, uh, uh, you know, writing, uh, poems, story, novels, drama, etc. I have read Girish Kannada, I have read all the dramas. Okay. Chandrasekhar Kambar, I have read three novels. Okay. Three novels that uh, one drama and two novels. Drama is called Jo Kumara Sami. And then uh, Surya Sikara novel. Singaramma Aramanan. All right. All these are novels I have read. Okay. Yura Nantamurse Samskara, I have read. Okay. So you see, you need to read this. So once you read, you see how they utilize their right brain, got a small idea, and I started writing. I read all those Sri Krishna, Alan Halli Sri Krishna's Uzenga, the Dasha Vatar Galu, Raghavendra Patel's North Karnataka, called Teru, you know, Teru means Ratha, Chariot, okay, something like this. S.L. Vairappa has written 25 novels. I have read seven. So you should read this, okay. Uh, Especially Nanapit Award is in the Telugu literature, you know, Keshavaradi. Keshavaradi has written one book called, a novel called uh, Atharu Adhaveni Jayancharu. All right. And he is considered Ernest Hemingway way of Andhra Pradesh. In Telugu literature, Keshavaradi is considered uh, Ernest Hemingway of, uh, of uh, Andhra literature. Ernest Hemingway, English, British, American writer, Nobel laureate. Okay. So, like this. D. Ramalingam in Telugu Kata, you should have big book, Telugu stories. And these stories are based on ordinary, lower, uh, ordinary village people. But the story is so strong. Once you read, you will see the, the power of uh, the language, literature, okay? So, something like that. So, you can always, uh, you know, <clears throat> do that. You will not become D. Ramalingam, all right? Or you not become Vashudevan Nayar or Ayappa Panikar on day one, all right? But if you begin, you can, who knows, if you become another Ayappa Panikar in Kerala or uh, okay, Vashudevan Nayar or a Boshir master, Boshir, the story writer, great writer, all right, uh, in Kerala. So you should always uh, do that, okay? So try, begin with, okay? Uh, Ballathal in Kerala, Ballathal, I'm a great uh, earlier writer, philosopher, okay? He said, uh, people will die, nobody can stop it. But people dying in hunger is not acceptable. You see, see powerful lines they have written, okay? Something like this. So you can, uh, do, we talk about that. Peer observation, that uh, peer observation that I attend all my colleagues' class. And after attending, I write what I have learned from that particular class. Right? And then based, I write a report. How, what was the class? How much time taken for warm up? What are the activities? How it was conducted? What was the response of the students, participants? Like this.
I write a report. Based on the report, I write a paper, okay? And get it published in <coughs> some ISSN number journal. So you can always do that, right? So uh, report and reflect. Report what you have attended. Say, for example, you are attending these sessions. What have you gained from this? How I started the class? You can write a report on the class, all right? <clears throat> and then based on the report, you can reflect. What I do, what uh, my fellow colleagues uh, uh, does. What are the things that I do not do that my colleagues does? Can I incorporate those ideas in my sessions? And if I do that, what is the benefit I go get? So like this, you can always reflect. And based on your reflection, you can write a paper. All right? <clears throat> Something. That is another means of professional development we talked about. Then called reflective practices. After conducting a session for 40 minutes to your class 8, eight student, 9 student, 10 student, then you think, of, come back to your common room, sitting room, and then think of, what did I do today? What was the topic? What are the activities did I do? What are the techniques, strategies I used to conduct the class? We are, <clears throat> we are all students uh, happy, understood what I tried to get across, something like this. You can always reflect on and then finally, you say, is there any other alternative, better way of doing the same thing? All right. So always you think, once you start thinking, reflecting upon your own actions, like uh, reflecting in our personal life, we all do that. Well, buying things, we buy and then we reflect whether uh, it is the it is worth buying of, or the money I spend is worth doing it, something like this. We, if we buy a cloth, we show it to other friends, colleagues. See, is this okay? Okay, I have, uh, I have paid uh, one thousand rupees for this shirt. Is this okay? Okay, we get comment feedback from others. All right? So that is reflection we do in our personal life. Like this, we should also do the similar reflections. All right, similar reflection. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> right, uh, reflection after taking our own sessions, class, academic reflections. What did I do? What was the response I got from the student? Re reactions I got, response I got, how children acted in my class. And then think of, is there any other better way of doing the same thing? That is what is called reflective practices. So if you keep thinking about your class, what we did, then next day you will go with new ideas. So you enter as a new teacher. So it's the first thing that you may be the same person, same person, all right? Ambati Naresh or Ramesh or Amla Joseph, the same name, same teacher, same dress, but mentally you go as a new teacher. All right. You may be same Onufa, all right? same Ozunan, but when you enter as a class, because of your reflection of your past class, previous class, you go as a new teacher. So that is what should be in the practice. Go as a new teacher. Huh? You may be the same face, same person, same name, same dress, but idea-wise, mentally, you are a new person. And that is what children wants to see on your face. You go as a new person. So that is what. Uh, and then next is activity called material preparation for classroom practices we talk about. That we have one textbook, and that textbook is used throughout the step. And I have mentioned, uh, you know, in RDA classes, Different district, different situation, context, okay, so are rural, very rural, or like something like this. But you have the same lessons, same activities. Now, if you see some of the textbook lessons and activities are difficult for your student, then keeping the same, <clears throat> same uh, uh, you know, objectives of the activities in the lesson, you redesign it, re simplify it, okay, design new activities. Activities on listening, speaking, reading, writing, alert, grammar, vocabulary, and creative activities. All right, you know, something like this. So, you can always do that. That's the best practice for professional growth. All right, it helps two ways one is you are, you are designing new activities and helping learners to overcome their problems and develop their language skills. That is one. Secondly, because of your continuous, you know, practice in designing new activities, you develop professionally. Your language becomes stronger. Okay, you become strong in English. So that is our two benefits. And in I, I don't last time last year we prepared 
ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ <laughs> Uh, so these are some of the means of professional development class next thing was what is we are talking about teacher development group that as teacher you all live in isolation you have hundreds of friends to talk about any other things you have many people to talk to and they will listen to but the moment you raise one academic issue all friends will go away because what is this man you are always you are talking about academics 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 and slowly slowly all your friends will go away from you nobody is there to share any problems academic problems all right and there is no higher ups to listen to your academic problems so that is the condition we all live in isolation for these reasons we have teacher association but teacher association doesn't take care of your academic problem they take care of your administrative problem if there is any problem administrative problem you inform your uh, teacher or uh, association they will take care of it and to be frank there are many associations and it is a big uh, election in telangana and andhra pradesh is a big election like any other ml uh, assembly election secretary president of uh, teacher association yes or no tell me sir. andhra pradesh telangana friend ಇನ್ ಕೇರಳ ಮೈ ಕೇರಳ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಗ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ right for any meeting all right so but they will take care of your administrative issues all right that uh, and it is always in kerala if you go uh, uh, they say you know everything is done you know da central government interest 10 person and here in government of karnataka interest 3 person so they will evening they will say in clubs in the bath in clubs in the bath next day they will have meeting with chief minister all right to 20 minutes meeting and 2 hours eating all right <laughs> right and then they will have a solution some solution they will take care of your admit but academically nobody will be there for this reason we need to join some teacher development group and we have these are the uh, teacher association group uh, teacher development group the big group uh, world wide group is called tesol international group tesol means teaching of english to the speaker of other languages teaching of english to the speaker of other languages this is an international group chicago based uh, okay uh, washington dc based okay so uh, but this is not free group this is paid group that means you need to pay uh, 135 us dollar every year from january 1st to december 31st that's a paid group i have been member of this group for last 9 years through this group i attended many online uh, uh, training and then now presently i am uh, i'm acting as uh, paper reviewer every year they conduct uh, international convention means conference so thousands of people from different country will be pe- presenting submitting paper so these papers we reviewed by three reviewers and i am one of them okay they send me around 40 40 30 to 40 papers so i need to go through and if i say okay then it will go to another uh, reviewer and if all three reviewers say okay then only it is accepted so this is a benefit that you have it's a little complicated but it's uh, uh, it's very nice uh, opportunity you can get 
All right. Uh, so that is. Now, if you cannot afford to pay and uh, access this uh, group, then you can uh, go for our Indian group called LTI, English Language Teacher Association of India. So this is Chennai based originally. Now they conduct international national conferences in other states also. All right. It's an all India based uh, teacher association group. And if you have 30 people in a particular place, you can create one chapter of LTI in your place. We have Hyderabad. Uh, telling our friends will know in Hyderabad we have LTI chapter, uh, Hyderabad, all right. And one of my uh, teacher, Dr. Mohan Raj, he is also president of, I think, is some office bearers. Okay. So those who are in and around uh, Hyderabad, you can join this LTI uh, chapter Hyderabad, all right. And <clears throat> its fees is very nominal, three hundred fifty something like this. And they also have in, and one journal. IS 400 IS, rupees, sir. 400 rupees, yeah. Uh, LTI journal, they publish journal. They have, last two years, they conducted online conference because of COVID. Otherwise, they have face-to-face -face conference. I attended. I Last time, uh, American embassy debuted me to conduct one workshop in LTI conference. I did in Chennai, <coughs> Sri Ram University. <coughs> Right. So that is one group. You can always uh, join some group. You don't need to share. You just go and then see what people are doing in different parts of the world. So that way you can get a lot of ideas. And if you have any doubt, confusions, you can type there in the group. And then somebody would uh, answer your queries. So because the problem that we have faced today, somebody might have faced earlier somewhere. Uh, so whatever insight they have gained, how they solved it, they will be sharing ideas, and that way applying those, you know, you know, uh, those principles, you can easily solve your problem. So this is another other social groups. Also, you have uh, here. Whether <coughs> here I have attended one program in University of Maryland, Baltimore County, USA, Pennsylvania. So there, my course uh, manager, her name is Teresa Hectebelis. So they have two special programs for teachers from different parts of the country. So those teachers who teach teenagers, student, teenager student, like 13, 14 to 19, this is a very special uh, you know, age group, full of stress and tension because of their physical growth. There is a lack of coordination because, because <clears throat> between their physical growth and coordination of muscles, okay? So they undergo a lot of stress. They are neither children nor adult in between. So handling this uh, group of children in its special skills. So University of Maryland have a course on uh, on this teenage uh, teachers t handling teenager students. So those who attend the training, my course manager Teresa Hector Bella, she created this group called Teaching English to Teens. Teens means teenager, and. Uh, my course was advanced, best practice in Tesla methodology, that course I attended. After our course, uh, Madam has created uh, <coughs> this group called English Language Teaching to a 21st century ELLs. ELLs means English language learners. We are all in the English language learners. All right. So this group is for English language in 21st century English language learners. You see, we are, as I told you, we are all born and brought up in 20th century sensory, but the children we are handling are 21st century. So in order to become 21st century teachers, we need to become, we need to learn 21st century skills. Okay. So this group, uh, you know, you can, this is free. These, both the groups are free. You can just, you don't need to upload anything. You just have a look at what people are doing in different parts of the world. You get an idea. As I told you other day, teaching high school in India, the standard that you are maintaining in teaching at high school level in India should be the same kind of standard somebody teaching in England at high school level. So that is what is called we need to maintain international standard. As you all, all speak that you all say that uh, it's a global village. So if it is global village, their village and our village is the same. The standard we have the same, all right? Something like this. So. Then you can also connect British Council, British Council, regional, RELO means regional English language office. British Council is very costly. You don't need to buy materials, but you can get the idea. There is no harm in getting idea and doing something. 
Only thing we need to acknowledge that I have taken this idea from British Council website, something like this. Whatever idea you take, you just need to acknowledge that. Otherwise, it is considered, uh, you know, plagiarism. Okay, taking idea from somebody, not recognizing, it's a plagiarism. It's a crime. All right. So you take idea and acknowledge that I have taken this idea from that particular uh, site of British Council and that. Similarly, regional English language office, that is American embassy. Uh, in American embassy, they call regional English language office. New Delhi is the headquarter. So they provide a lot of uh, scholarship, short term, uh, online course, uh, scholarship, short term, medium term, long term, ETC scholarship. Right? So, you know, I know in Talangana, one Vinayada Razu, Vinayada Razu, he got a uh, uh, very big uh, mini scholarship and he last year two years back before covid he visited america for one month okay they they this regional english language of which paid is all these things so this is a very good uh, you know <clears throat> uh, you know organization okay regional english language of which you can you know get a, a scholarship all right you can apply if you don't get apply again something like this so then now you realize, all of you realize online teaching something like this, okay? Earlier I said, for now, last nine years, I have been wait, attending webinar, web seminar, that means online seminar called webinar. And they used to conduct regional English language. They used to ask us and now we are joined. And I in, there is series called seven series. I started from seven series. Seven series, in one series, we have six talks. Uh, 90 minute talks. After 15 days, another 90 minute uh, minutes talks, another 15 days, okay? Like every 15 days, we have one, one talk of 90 minutes and six sessions. And out of six sessions, if we attend four sessions, you get a certificate. So I attended seven series, six sessions, eight, series, six sessions, nine, six sessions, 10, six sessions, 11, six sessions, <coughs> uh, 12, six sessions, 13, six sessions. I think now I have to stop from 13. I have huge amount of certificates. All right, and these topics they take are all school topics, the topics that you handle in high school level. All right, so you can or you can relate. And uh, since you couldn't do it, here is a site I have shared it www.shapingenglish.ning.com. If you go there, you will see whatever webinar I attended, all recorded versions are there. Handouts are there, main talkers are there, activities conducted are there. You can always see. And responses of part participants are also there. And if you want some materials you want to download, you can download it. All right, that facility is free, of course. All right, like this. Another I have shared here that is called www.wow.org. This middle WOW means workshop on writing. So this is a very user-friendly workshop, uh, you know, ID, uh, sorry, uh, link. So you can, you can, how to write a good paragraph, how to write a good topic sentence, how to write a, uh, write an essay, you know, all this guidance you get. And it is user-friendly. You go and then you don't have time to stop it. And then next morning you can begin from the point where you stop. This is a very nice thing. So okay? you can always do that. Somebody raised the hand. What is the problem? Shiva, P. Shiva Prashant, Naidu, why did you raise your hand? Right, so uh, these are, uh, now we'll talk about something called activities. What are the different activities that we can do to develop ourselves professionally? Right? So before I go to, uh, <clears throat> did you understand what I'm trying to get across? Did you get the idea? Can you type in the chat box that you've got some idea? Type in the chat box. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Uh. Sir, how can, how can we get uh, this webinar links for us? I have if I want yes. any, attend I have any uh, seminar on any topic or anywhere, so uh, how can one. we get uh, it? So I have shared the link. You can get the recorded version. It is of all this webinar, so we are over. What I have attended, 
So if you want to see what I have attended, you can go and check it. Recorded versions are there. For online, that you will have to keep your ears open. Okay, you will have to read journals, all right, and then uh, see the news, newspaper, English newspaper. You should read and go to the website of Altai and see when they conduct international conference, all right. You will have to do these things. Little bit of search every day, all right. What the fun? So, if you want to Thank buy you, something. Sir. You will have to buy. If you want to buy something, you will have to go to the market, and if you want to buy sugar, you will have to go to the grocery shop. Like this, if you want uh, information about a conference, LTI conference, you will have to go to LTI website. All right, all these are available. If just type in your mobile, you know, go, you know, in your mobile, uh, if you see here that where you go, you know, Google. So here Google is there. You type LTI. You Google here, type LTI, and then type LTI conference, then you will get all information in a fraction of a second. So if you have a smart mobile, then you can access everything. Anything you want in the in the world, you will get within a fraction of a second. Not one, many hundreds of materials you will get, with something like that. So we'll have to keep in touch. You can check RISI website. You will see when we conduct a webinar, all right? international conference, you will get it. So if you want to know when uh, this conference are conducted by some organization, you check it. If you want to attend any university conference, you check, type that university name and see if they organize any uh, you know, uh, conference. If you want to attend IFLU conference, then you type IFLU University, all right? English and Foreign Language University, Osman University campus, Hyderabad, then uh, all informations you will get. That is how you will have to get information. So we'll have to be alert. All right. All right. And these days you, you can attend online. You don't need to go anywhere. Online you can attend. Sitting at home. Only thing you need to uh, network. And inside your home network is not there. Go out. All right. Climb on a tree and sit there and then, then attend. Internet will be available. So that's what is needed. This, this life becomes so easy, you know. So you should, uh, you know, explore, explore your opportunities that you have in and around. Good. So now we'll talk about what is called professional activities. What are the different activities that we should do? I have jotted down many, but I'll focus on certain activities that you can do or what I do. You can do the same thing and get the similar benefit. The first activity of professional development and a very powerful activity, very effective activity of professional development is what is called classroom research or action research. You have 50 students and all 50 students have some problem or others. Either it is listening problem or speaking problem, reading problem or writing problem, grammar problem, vocabulary problem. So take one problem, that is a very serious kind of problem. Take writing problem or reading problem, right? Class 8 student cannot differentiate between B and D. If that is the case, take an action research, do an action research, all right? For one month, okay, three months, all right? Take, you know, initially when you do first time, you take some 10 students, those who have severe problem, take that issue and then Part of your teaching program, you conduct an action research, the additional activities you conduct for them, and see the result. If you are successful, and if you have the, the, the student have overcome their problem and now slowly, slowly moving forward, then that's the success. And based on that, you can you know write a report. Based on the report, you can write a, a paper and then get it published somewhere. And then take another issue, another problem classroom problem and do another action research. It's a continuous process, continuous process. Keep doing, keep doing. And then if there is a teacher uh, sharing meeting, okay, uh, monthly you have meeting, sharing meeting, okay. So you share that I have conducted one, uh, you know, uh, action research, all right, in my classroom. And this is the positive uh, results I have got. So many other I have teachers will get, your colleagues will get idea. And people will appreciate it. And then you can publish a paper and show higher officials that I have 
got my paper published in an ISSN number journal. So that will be added qualification. All right. So this is one. So this is the most powerful uh, activity. Now these days, how to conduct an action research? Again, you additional help. You go to Google, and then you see steps of conducting professional develop. Uh, sorry, action research or classroom research. You get hundreds of tips. All right. So just a little bit of extra work. All right. You will not get additional increment, but you will develop yourself professionally. People will recognize, and the people will invite you to share your experience of conducting research. Who knows? The department will take you as an example and ask you to share and ask other teachers to do the similar, you know, action research. I know one teacher, and you know, other thing I think I told you in Tamil Nadu, many such uh, my teacher friends they are doing lot of work, and they are, you know, the government is, you know, department is taking help of those people. All right? um, so you can do that. You can do that. That's a very good. I know idea for growing professionally, and you grow professionally, and department will recognize you. You, you will get additional responsibility of doing training, conducting training program, sharing your ideas, helping others to conduct research program. So who knows? Maybe you will be the main person in your district, in your taluk, in your mandal, and then you will be sharing things, right? So you can. This is one of the best activity, uh, powerful activity, successful activity. Okay, uh, for uh, uh, you know, for developing professionally. All right. Second thing is what is called professional books. Professional books. All right. Now you need to read uh, at least. Uh, you should have at least one book. And I'll tell you one book uh, that is called. There are two books. One is, as I shared on the first day, uh, methodology of second language teaching. An anthology of current practice by J.C. Research and W.A. Ranandia. One book, and this J.C. Research and W.A. They invited all the experts, top experts of the world, to contribute one one chapter. This is not a book written by one writer. All right, J.C. Research, their editor, W.A. Ranandia and J.C. Research, their editor, but contributors of the great experts. So one. One topic on uh, <clears throat> on listening. Okay, one expert wrote one art chapter on listening. One on speaking, like this. You know, this is a very good book. All right, somebody talked about teaching. What do you mean by teaching? What do we do? What is science based teaching? What is philosophy based teaching? What is art and craft based teaching? So you get all ideas in one book. All right, what is twenty first century uh, teaching? Post post method teaching. So S. D. Brown has written one chapter on that. So if you buy that, then then done. And if you read one chapter every month, it's a long chapter. It takes some time. You need need two three days with all your activities, work, personal work, official work. You can uh, read one complete article or chapter in three to four days. All right. And see the activities. We can apply those activities back home in your classroom practices. That's a very powerful book. You can buy them. I think now online it is available around two thousand rupees. If you invest two thousand rupees, this book will not only help you throughout your professional life. You know, anybody, your friend circles can also get benefit from that. Or four or five people can buy one book and get make Xerox copy and then have copy of your own. All right, <laughs> these are shortcut. You know, if four people buy it, two thousand rupees, five hundred, five hundred days. After getting the book, you type make photocopy. All right, you can you know have a copy of this. Another was David Newman uh, edited that is called the Practical English Language Teaching. Practical English Language Teaching, the same kind of. This is advanced, two thousand three. Earlier one is 2002 published. Uh, David Newnes, the Practical English uh, uh, Language Teaching. Again, he has got divided the book into three <coughs> things. One is the macro skills. Okay, what are the different macro skills? And then micro skills. Okay, and then uh, textbook related things and and then technology related things. Okay, call so computer assisted language learning, something like this. Okay, uh, <coughs> that that. Uh, what is called 
text dependent text independent all right so so how do we uh, manage all these things using the textbook and it's still helping learners to learn so you get a lot of ideas so i appreciate if you can afford to buy one book and share with your friends and that way minimize your expenditure you can always do <coughs> sorry so one person can order and uh, four or five people can join together and buy one book all right something like this that way you can minimize the expenditure otherwise you have your own copy by reading book is completely different uh, you know experience having a book of your own already is complete difference which will not get in online uh, screen reading reading book feel task and all this we have five indriyas pancha indriya these are called uh, uh, knowledge acquiring uh, you know source media doors all right eyes ears okay task feel skin all right tongue nose all these are different source through which we acquire new knowledge all right so uh, having a book practically you know have uh, tasking the book opening the page you know all this is uh, different is you know kind of uh, knowledge that you have you know you read the page okay read again remember the page number paragraph number 1 or third something you feel and task so that you can always have have a copy one time investment all right professional book and what is the importance of reading journal this is our journal here in this journal we have around 12 13 uh, 12 13 years 12 uh, 12 papers 12 papers now what is the difference between books and journal books are established knowledge established knowledge all right permanent whether it is in hyderabad or in tiruvananthapuram or in chennai or in pondi or in uh, bangalore or any part of the world the knowledge is the same okay universal but journal what happens journal articles are based on the recent research conducted in that particular area all right recently conducted research on particular skills particular topic and after conducting this and they have written a paper on that and have published it so here you you have got you get fresh idea recent ideas on fresh idea all right so that is the difference when you buy uh, you know the Uh, you know buy old uh, junk mm, junk food okay so for example you uh, you know buy one cake and you see check you know bread you see the date when what was it prepared okay or roti is available chapati is available okay parotta is available you check the date means somebody prepared somewhere and then that self you know uh, you know sent it to other places that is one and then you are preparing your own chapati and right now busy busy you know you know hot chapati and eating so this journal study in journal ideas are recent ideas and that's why we focus more on journals all right because but, but book is must book is must because that is basic ideas you have based on your understanding you are seeing the recent trends now recent idea on that particular skill the i i told you four types of knowledge one is called textual knowledge one is conceptual knowledge now books gives you conceptual knowledge all right and then what is called procedural knowledge and meta cognitive knowledge these are four so books provide you conceptual knowledge all right article give the fresh idea on that particular knowledge so that's the difference so i would appreciate all of you to subscribe for journal and this is the in the cps journal because risi doesn't make profit it is it is we publish it and its price is very less so if you subscribe this then you get get in less amount of money you get concrete ideas and this journal is complete on english language teaching journal no other areas only english language teaching journals so all articles will be related to english language teaching only and all topics will be related to your high school topics topics only whatever you are talking vocabulary listening grammar speaking reading writing something like this creativity all right technology all these are related items so you can always subscribe and if you want to subscribe our journal 
then you go to our website and then you will see journal and there is subscription form you can transfer for one year or two years or let transfer money account number is given to transfer and then give your address <coughs> fill in the form and then submit it online so give your proper address postal address so whenever we publish every six months we publish june issue and december issue all right if you want december issue now subscribe to dates so whenever december issue comes they will send it by post our library people will send it by post all right so that is the easy way all right you need to go to market buy and say yes exchange so exchange is, uh, is it monthly month, monthly general or month, uh, biannual six monthly biannual sir okay sir okay sir june and december okay, sir. i can get it sir. okay sir i can so that is what you get fresh ideas new ideas all right so always now if you have 12 by uh, uh, article here even if you take one month to read one article only in one year you will be fine in the meantime another issue will come so so read it and if you read 12 articles you get 12 different new ideas all right and if you incorporate those ideas in your classroom practice you are automatically a professional you know teachers okay you have grown professionally so first thing i said as part of your teaching program you do an action research you don't need to put extra time extra money on that it's part of your teaching is your part of life every day you have to teach as part of it you do an action research second is read books all right buy one book and share with your friends okay that way you will or you can have your own copy keep it read at least take one month to read one chapter you will get a lot of ideas all right and then read a journal one journal one journal subscribe one journal best journal for elt this is because risi is uh, you know specialist organization on english language teaching so our journal is comparatively you know focused on english language teaching <clears throat> so we can do that so these <clears throat> two uh, you know things one is action research part of duty and professional reading professional books and journal reading make it your part of life like we have you know breakfast lunch and dinner like this you can have reading as your part of your journey everyday activities read two pages no problem whenever you are free especially after night after dinner before going to bed you can read one article that way you will feel sleepy and you can go and sleep all right many people have that habit when once they start reading they feel sleepy so we will feel sleepy go and sleep still you will have some idea okay anything you read before you go to bed that the whole night your subconscious brain will work on that and you will remember next morning you get up you will remember the idea you got all right before going to bed so you can do that that is the, these are two things the best things next thing i said come classroom school visitation may be not may be possible for every day of okay? next here this conference audio this is another very powerful means of you know developing professional especially your language spoken language so uh, as i know all of you listen to song all right in your mobile you you put uh, you know headphone and you know listen to and then travel by bus so listen you listen to song no problem i like uh, listening to song but at the same time you fixed one time see every day 15 minutes i'll read i listen to conference audio as i said that are many conferences we are conducted so far and all of them you know link that to you like youtube so if you go and say conference audio again go to google or like google and type conference audio and conference audio will come series of conference audio will come and then you listen which one is suitable for you topic is suitable relevant to you and the language you understand so initially you can go for uh, go for uh, indian speakers you will understand each and every one uh, native speaker in, uh, speakers from english and england and uh, america initially you might find difficult so initially begin with indian uh, you know speaker all right so our conference audios are there you can listen to so make it a point every day i listen at least for 10 to 15 minutes that way you will get exposed to 
that new vision okay new language new word all right and in the process you will develop your vocabulary as well all right so that's a very powerful very powerful means of professional development activity so and conference whenever there is an opportunity they don't have we don't have every day conference once in year once in two year so go if you want to attend ri conference check whether this year we have conference or not if you want to attend LTI conference check their web website that way get the information and keep ready and tell your friends so that jointly you can join okay okay something like that but i do appreciate if there is face to face conference you better go once have an idea all right many of my telangana andhra pradesh friend they attended international conference uh, uh, in hyderabad i i presented my paper there so i met many of my old friends all right so you can if it is nearby closer to your place then you can travel and, and go attend all right only thing you don't get tad and you need to register for that all right so once you register you get certificate attendance certificate badges and foods and all these things lodging you will have to arrange for it or accommodation you have to arrange but food during the conference they will provide so this i can do <clears throat> so these are some of the activities i have given many you go through whichever is possible but these are powerful there are many things but these are action research classroom research professional books and journal study conference audios these are the most successful activities for developing professionally you can also have a um, uh, uh, study on e uh, examining uh, students work where they go wrong what mistake mistake they commonly make all right so if we study this then you will get an idea what you are supposed to uh, stress focus on in your classroom practices some children make lot of mistakes in use of article so that is one area where you need to focus more before the uh, high school leaving certificate examination all right secondary education uh, secondary uh, uh, certificate uh, examination sslc examination all right so that and then you can have educational exchanges as i told you other day meet make friendship with two kerala teachers all right and then talk to each other every sunday every uh, saturday somewhere discuss on focused conversation discuss on certain things how do the, do uh, how do they do uh, for this activities okay like this so you can interested uh, discussions you can always have all right something like this so and then journaling is another very powerful journaling means uh, what uh, you did today in your classroom you have recorded it all right today you ha I, i have taught teacher professional development basically we focused on uh, means of professional development and uh, professional activities okay something like this writing down what you have done if there is one student who ask questions what question did he ask all right so one teacher asked me here today how do we get information of national and international conferences so write the questions and write your replies that is called journaling log log book okay something like this so these are some of the things that i thought i'd share with you so i hope you got some ideas and keep developing keep developing all right so uh, uh, next sessions will begin a new topic called uh, um, call uh, assessment and evaluation all right so if you have any questions on this uh, teacher professional development you can ask me we have uh, uh, already completed the, uh, the sessions right if you have any questions you can ask me and next sessions we'll have uh, next session is when i have session next week all right uh, next sir week. excuse me sir uh, please tell the title of the book written by sd brown SD Brown is chapter 1 chapter JC Reset and WA Renandia the methodology of second language teaching uh, and anthology of current practice by JC Research and WA Renandia these two writers and one of the chapter is in that book is written by SD Brown okay okay sir all right right any other questions You got some idea what I talk about? It's an online.